Baby had his surprise 50th birthday party this weekend at MGM National Harbor. And it's a big year for all the junkies. EB's just up first. His birthday's mm-hmm. actually February 6th. So to me, part of you being surprised, too, is it was kind of, kind of still kind of far out oh, yes. from your birthday. So she it's did not, a great job It's with not it. really on your radar, you know, three or four weeks in advance of the hitting the big five. Oh, it's been on my radar. Okay. Oh, it's been on my radar but for a long time. Of, in, terms of, in terms of sniffing <laughs> out a, a, a surprise party. Yeah. I mean, like, I thought maybe you had sniffed it out because you were asking about MGM and there was just a, you know, you're talking about getting a hotel room, but apparently you hadn't. Legit surprise. I thought there was a chance you were going to show up and just act like you were surprised. Nope. But I know for a fact you're not that good of an actor. Yeah. No, <laughs> I was I was stunned. I actually uh, put a quick video that my daughter took uh, when I was walking in here. You can see I totally was stunned. Yeah. So, um, hmm. Anyway, it's a big year for all the junkies because yeah. we turned 50. It's just one of those big markers. Huge. You know, 30, 40, 50. I mean, there's so 50 much. is really the beginning it's of the end. It's the big end. milestone, yes. yeah. I mean, you better pretty much start planning your death. <laughs> well, there's a new study <laughs> yeah. that says that actually the exact age when you're most miserable mm-hmm. in life, and it makes some sense, but it's 47.2 years old. So you're beyond that. You're actually... Now on like a on a um, like a happiness on a U shaped curve, mm-hmm. you're like the most happy, supposedly in your twenties. Yeah, you know, kind of like the college years, kind of oh, living yeah. free. You're, oh, you don't yeah. have control. You don't have responsibility. You don't think about your mortality. I was eating at chili and cheese dogs every day. <laughs> right, you Mountain Dews. You, you still look good. Salt and vinegar chips. You know, pizza, and chicken then, wings. And then according to this study, you get a little more miserable. As you're approaching 47, all of a sudden, 20s and 30s, you get more miserable. Then 40s, you get more miserable. Huh. Well, and like, then now, though, now you're on the way back. That like by your 70s, you're as happy as you are when you're in your 20s. Oh, I find that very hard because to believe. you become more grateful of the things that you have. You've accomplished you have a little more part perspective of, in life. Part of part of I know my stress level stuff is like raising kids. I'm at, I'm at peak course. raising kids time right yeah. now. You know when they're they're in their teenage years and you know. It's the most financial responsibility you have. You might yeah. be making more money, but you have more financial responsibility because you have three kids, three yeah. potential colleges to go to, all that no, no. sort of thing. I'm fine with finances now. It's when we get fired where I'm going to be doomed. Right? Yeah. I'm good now. But at least <laughs> when we get on, fired, I'll be sure. My point is it weighs on your mind that you have to be set for those things. Not too much. I'm not worried about that. I'll be f- where, But I, I just, I don't know. Stressful. Life is stressful. I don't know how it gets much better. I've come to grips with life only getting worse. <laughs> so you don't buy into no. that you're going to become happier No. now that you're beyond no. that, that, that perfect age of 47.2. You're most miserable. I don't believe in that bell curve. I think what I've learned is that life is better and more stressful, and then <laughs> your friends and family... They get sick and die, yeah. and then you get sick and die. And well, then, see, that's why. <laughs> that's so. That to me is just life. I was gonna say that's why life at this age is worse because the people who are older than us that are in our yeah, family, you start losing all them. Yeah, we, I lost and then my you're mom, next. You lost your dad. You lost your dad. I mean, right? Then you start, you start losing aunts and uncles. When, when, tw- when you're in your twenties, you're not thinking about that. No, no. no this no, no. is. I agree. It's just a. It's a life. Tough, it's, it's a tricky time. It's only gonna get worse. And then as you get older, and then you get, you know, your maladies it start to, you know mountain on top of each other i mean it's just yeah, but in show. some ways you can enjoy certain things in life that you probably weren't able to do earlier like in life. what like for example jason he's gone to pebble beach like these are things he could have done when he was fleeting 20. it's a yeah. fleeting it's a nice week he had and then he came <laughs> right back nice. it's a distraction right back to his hell life <laughs> no, that's nice. That's nice. back to the well, every day i, I would call life way. hell think about that right. you call it you call life hell stressful <laughs> It's a little different than hell. Okay, it's not hell, not burning <laughs> the, in hell, home, but it's stressful. The homeless, that's life in hell. Sure. But hopefully they're, hopefully. I know. They're, it's, hopefully you they're, just paid five grand for your 50th birthday party. Yeah, five grand? I didn't choose to. <laughs> well, I know, but you were able to. That was a surprise. That's my point. <laughs> yeah, I was surprised by that. <laughs> hey, you got a little skinny I mean, pop on your But mouth. you were able to, is my point. <laughs> yeah. No, I told you, I'm good now, but when I get fired, I'll be hurting. All It'll right, be well. more stressful. Life is not that. Life is not that great. It has fleeting moments of fun. It's better than it, the alternative. It's better than being we dead, I suppose. That. But I can understand why people are depressed. I'm depressed. <laughs> so, I think life is stressful and only gets more stressful. As aging really hammers it home for me.
because you can do less every day. You could do a little Aging. bit less than you could the day before. Aging does every day. Every agree. day you look in the mirror, you're a little bit more hurting every day. You don't get better looking. <laughs> just That's... don't look in the mirror a lot. Just I avoid try, the I mirror. Try, I try not to. Believe me, it's not just a pleasant. Just walk right by it. It's not a pleasant sight. <laughs> you get walk by. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But you got to because you got to shave. You got to brush your teeth. Yeah, shaving, yeah. You got to look Do in the mirror. Whatever. If I could avoid, if I could go through life without looking in the mirror, I would. But, you know, you got to make sure your belt's proper. You got to make sure your shirt's tucked in. Yeah. You got to brush your teeth. Yeah, but what do you want to do? Why do you really care about? You wear sweatpants every why day. Why do you look know when I go like, anywhere? What are you talking about? about? Do you wear a belt? <laughs> I don't really look in the mirror for this show. But life, this is not. This is fake. This, this doesn't even count. I get up in the morning and come do the show for four hours, and then I go home, take a nap, reset. Then I have life. This is a joke. The only belt you're gonna wear is this around your neck, like is Bradley joke. Cooper. In, huh? uh, the only belt you're gonna wear is around your neck, right? <laughs> Hanging from the garage door. Exactly. Uh, I don't get cons- alert. <laughs> wow. I, I mean, I've never seen the movie. I don't. I care if I spoil it for other people. Right. What do I care? I know how it ends. Right. Now it's you a, know. It's a remake of a remake. It's of been a remake done a hundred anyway. times that movie. <laughs> It was good, though. All right, let's go to DePompa. If you say so. DePompa wants, wants to chime in on this. Hold on, I can't even... Is he, as, is he as much a pessimist as some of you guys? He can't be. No I mean, or a realist. You could call it a realist. <laughs> let's go to John. John, what's up, buddy? Hey, boys. How we doing? What's hey. up, John? What's up? I mean, EB, e- 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 okay, you don't pay for any meals. You don't pay for your cell phone. I told you, you financially, for... I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine financially, but that's nothing. Kind of, you live in the bougiest hell of all time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean, imagine you work four hours a day. You go home, take a nap. I mean, I love you. I'm not. I'm not Jonah. I listen to the show. You provide me with years of entertainment. I'll take yeah. it the wrong way. Yeah. But your version of hell is so soft. It's, okay, it's but it's my version. I'm that's, the one living it. That's what. I, that's my point. Why don't okay, you other people have it worse. Okay, who, of course, a million. A billion people have it worse. But, but did you prefer life? Uh, did you prefer? I, I think it's. How about this? Hold on. I think it sucks for everybody. Okay. That's your opinion. Sucks but for them did too. Did you prefer your life when you lived in Savage, Maryland, in like a two-bedroom apartment, versus now? I prefer, preferred my now, life when I was in my twenties. I didn't have a care in the world. Yes. Okay, but at that point, I think you have a care because you're married, right? You're married. You're didn't have that much of a family. care. Didn't have that you're much of a care. Not making really much money. You're living in a two-bedroom apartment. Perfectly happy. Perfectly happy. <laughs> More happy. I had your. I had. Now? I had cable. You know? I had direct TV. I had everything <laughs> I needed. I had NFL he's, package. He's definitely anti. A guy that I talked to last week who's 53, he said the 50s are the, the best time of his life. Really? Yeah. Now, I'm, Well, maybe that'll, be, maybe that'll bear some out, people maybe, but I don't see people, that. The, that's, some people are just that's genetically that's true. happier. All I see is doom and gloom. <laughs> that's all I see. Yeah, but you're saying you're stressing out about a lot of like the parental responsibilities. In yeah. 10 years, yeah. you're still a parent. But they're going to be kind of out, out on their own. Some of them might yeah. be married. Then, Some okay, of them might in be 10 years, then I'll really be stressing out about all <laughs> if I'm lucky enough. Oh, my God. Alive. Yeah. <laughs> See, I don't, be, I don't view life as, as hell like you do. I mean, but I don't I, view it as hell. But get, don't hold me to that. I'm just I'm right, doing a radio show. Yeah, I'm doing, it. It's not hell, <laughs> but, but, I, but it's hard. This is the it's way, stressful. Of course it is. It's stressful for everyone. Exactly. I'm not saying that we're unique. But I just get sad thinking about the passing of time. Of course. That's what I get. I don't view it as stressful as much as I view it as sometimes sad because my kids are getting older. I'm to getting older. To me, that's older. all the same. The passing of time is really. To me, that's all the same. It sad, just, it stressful. Just Lord, it's, it's, it just hits Lord, home. How, how much yeah. money would you give to go back in time so you could actually cry when you're giving your kids a bath like the old days? I'd give a lot of money for that. <laughs> yes, he would. Absolutely, John DePompa. I would. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, you know what, what? DePompa, I, I look at there. my buddies. I look at my buddies who have really young kids, my cousins, like my cousins who have, you know, six and four year olds or yeah. younger, and I'm very jealous of them. I'm very jealous. Now they're jealous of me because of, they're jealous of me because of my 401k. Right. <laughs> now I'm, you can do it, uh, but yeah, I'm exactly. jealous you can do what of them JP did because their lifestyle. Have a midlife crisis. You can have the midlife crisis baby like me and JP did. <laughs> yeah. I have a nine year old, an eleven year old. And I got a money newborn. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, well. you pressed the reset button. Congrats. I sure did. <laughs> Pretty smart. I just got my health insurance bill. Pretty smart. <laughs> I have a kid. Now, I, I, but let me just say this. I'm not I, with I, you, I, on, I, by I, the way. I, I like find, John. Every time it, I come in here, I, f- I try and find a way to be happy. Sure. And just to be happy for the next <laughs> That's, that's but, good for you. But Bickle will definitely <laughs> bring me down. He drags you down. When he talks about you this. love uh, Bobby McFerrin. Oh, don't worry, Please happy. don't play that That's song. different for you. You used to terrible. come in and be negative. See, you had therapy, so I think it helped you. 
I did go through therapy. I yeah. think that helped you. Yeah. What the bickle needs. Yeah, I know. I think, you know I'm going to consider it. Just it just depends on what stage you're at because I was a mess when my mom was sick and when yeah. she passed away. I can't believe she's been gone for almost five months. Yeah. It's incredible. Yeah. But when I think about her, I get sad. But I just I told myself I wanted to be happier as a person every single day because of everything that happened. And I just can't go through life just thinking about all the bad things. Yeah. But when I come in here, Eric brings me back down you see to that the, point. You know what you need? You need to hit some more winners. You need to pick some more <laughs> hey, winners I, I, that'll I, make you happy. I hit the Caps and Blues parlay yesterday. Very good. Not Somebody those. gave you the Blues to play. No, no, I picked the Blues myself. Uh, I leaned. Big surprise, you picked the Blues. But don't you ever, EB, do you ever have that perspective? Like, you could be a school counselor. Like, let's say Thank the you. junkies didn't happen. Thank you, John DePompa. You could be Thank grinding you, it out. Yeah. At a school, you know, not that there's anything wrong with that. Your brother's uh, an All educator. All my family are an educator. Yeah, you're being educated, but you'd be grinding yeah, out that the hours. My job, I mean, I know this sounds, it's easy for me to say, but it, this doesn't determine my happiness. I know, but you know, but my point is if you keep I it in perspective. I would be happy doing a lot of jobs. If you keep it in perspective, maybe you're a little more grateful, and the gratitude brings you a little more happiness. I am grateful. It, but he's that, just saying that it adds stressors. I'm other, grateful. Other stressors. I'm grateful. I'm just saying. Like if, you're, like if you're waking up at 4.30 to go to your 9 to 5 job in D.C., you don't get home till 7.30. You know, that's a that's a stressor. Yeah. I'm not saying I'm, I'm uniquely stressed. Everyone's stressed. If you're not stressed, you're in denial. Can somebody give this man some Kava gift cards? <laughs> get like stat, yeah. like immediately. Yeah. You know yeah. what you and I need? I don't even, you, you might be on meds. I'm I, not. I think but you I'm, and I need meds. But I'm talking to somebody <laughs> soon. Because I'll tell you why. I've got a buddy who felt I'm this. I'm talking to somebody soon. And I don't know the name of the med. My my wife's on them. Yeah. But <laughs> I'm sure she's happy you threw that out there. Well, well, millions of people are on meds. Okay. Anti-anxiety and whatever. Sure. But, antidepressants. But I was talking to my buddy who was feeling the exact same way that we feel. And he said the meds have changed his life. Really? Yep. Hmm. He thinks about only the good things. Whereas right. before he's thought about all the bad things when he woke up. Now, right. he doesn't even think about the bad things. He just thinks about good things. See, that's right. what I was trying that's, to say. That's, you just have your perspective. That's a good okay, term. No, it's, not perspe- it's not perspective. It's not perspective. It's also how you're wired. Pill, you, it's not you, just perspective. You focus, it's how you, you focus on your Pebble Beach trips and yeah. all it's, the things it's you how you're, It's how you're wired. It's a chemical thing. It's not just like, oh, I got some great perspective. 100% it's, too. It's a chemical thing, the way your brain is okay, wired. Believe me. Right, but the the meds will change that wiring. If it takes a pill to make you feel better. Might yeah. be worth it. Might I've be worth taken it. pills before in my lifetime, but I haven't in probably five years. But I need to. God, what's the name of the something. med she's on? It's a real popular one. Prozac? No. No, I don't know. Zoloft. A lot of people are on I Zoloft. I think it's something sim- yeah. similar to that. Yeah. I've had Zoloft before. It's I, I, I'll be honest with you. My wife's as happy a person that I know. Really? Every single day. Happy. Yeah. yeah. Never <laughs> down about anything. Right. It's nice to watch Alan. Loves that one. I just don't like. She's watching Netflix every day, laughing in the bed. <laughs> right, Netflix. All right, I mean, I can't it. tell you how many times she wakes me up laughing in the bed right. because of some show she's watching. Right. And so imagine the bell curve. You're most happy in your 20s, and you get more miserable as you get older. And then when you hit 47, then it starts coming back down that bell curve. You get happier and happier as you get a little bit older, as you become more grateful and accepting of the things that you have in life. I That's at know. least a theory, but EB is balking Well, at let that. me just say this. I don't want to say, what was the word you described? Miserable. I don't want to say, say <laughs> it's a life is index. miserable. I would say that life is just more difficult. I would say this past year or two has been the, two of the most difficult years of my life for nine million reasons. Yeah, yeah. And I don't see any of that subsiding. Well, 2019. Like, I can't say, 2020 is going to be outstanding. I don't feel that way either. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I just don't see it. I, it's, it's I just see my, it getting more stressful. I mean, 2019, for obvious reasons, was the worst year of my life. Yeah. But you're right. I don't go into 2020 going, all right, man, it's got to be a much better year. It's going to yeah. be killer. I'm just waiting for the next real it's bad news. It's only going to be good stuff. I'm just waiting for the re- next yeah, real bad too. news. But I just try and wake up every day and go, all right, well, you know, I'm I'm healthy for now. Yeah. And my kids are in – my I got a kid in college, mm-hmm. good school. And my other kid's, you know, healthy. I got – Happy marriage. My finances are good. Play golf twice a week. I'd like to play golf, but the next bad thing is coming. Oh, yeah. Oh, good every movie. time I just I'm don't know when it is. Right. But the next bad thing is coming. Yeah. This is why I know I need some medicine. Every time my <laughs> phone got, buzzes, you and I gotta have meds. Yep. I'm nervous to read the message because that's what I'm waiting for. <laughs> right. Yeah, you are just wired every t- differently. You're every wired time differently. I, my phone buzzes, I go, well, what nightmare is this now? Because, uh, you know, cakes... Both you and Cakes are wired differently. You go to a mall, and you're thinking, well, uh, somebody might be shooting us up. I Always. go to the mall, and I go, 
Ooh, and they by got the way, Cold Stone Creamery. It's a slight tangent. It's not the mall. You, it's anywhere, yeah. any public place. <laughs> it could be a school, mall. Well, I don't go to okay. church, so I, I strike that. Casino, any public place. I worry place, in church. Grocery store, anywhere. It could be anywhere. Yeah. A, a, a mass shooting. You also don't like to walk across the street diagonally. You like that. I, I use a crosswalk. Because he's worried he's going to get hit. Well, there's, a reason that, there's a reason that the crosswalk is there. You're encouraged to walk in All the right. crosswalk. Let's and go. when we played in our turkey bowl, you wore every pad known to man. Absolutely. Let's go to Jeff real quick. Then I see my mom has called it. Uh, Jeff, quickly. What's up, bud? Well, I go back to when JP read his LA, LSAT scores right. on the uh, air. which that was I the bar you know, exam. Some of the <laughs> yes. Bar exam, yeah. Right. right. That was the best radio I think I've ever heard, actually. Thanks. Um, we peaked I just want to let you know. You know I know. Uh, I was 51, and I, I lost my job. Um, right. You know, Brutal. Complete shock. Oh, yeah, the guy fired me over video conference. I mean, you talk about shocking, um, you know, and... You know, I was like, a, I'm like, like a few of you, maybe I'm sole breadwinner, live a suburban, nice suburban existence. Right. Um, so that's, you know. Why did that, your boss, why did your stick. boss let you go? What was the reason? Uh, it was after a corporate merger and they just oh, had okay. to cut costs. It just happened. Okay. Okay. Didn't do anything wrong. Just happened. Yeah. It sucks, man. Hang yeah, in well, there. Whatever. You, you, you know, I mean, and now, well, as I say now, I'm working for a competitor of the company that fired me, so. I have. I'm uh, in the middle of my an hour and a half commute now, but um, you know, kind of run on hatred against the old company. So, what is your like, perspective what on what we were talking about? Um, it's very true. You know, you're in your fifties, and things are fragile. Like that, it's a very fragile time because, it's like, you know, you've got older parents. You know, you just, in a moment's notice, who knows? I may have to fly down to Florida, and my right. mom you know, may have some, Absolutely. some medical issues. Yes, you know, absolutely. You don't. You don't know what's going to happen from day to day. Uh, kids, you know, uh, like high school kids, okay, it's, you know, it seems okay, but who knows, you know. Oh, no. Uh, no. High school kids are crazy. Every, everybody's crazy. Trust me. Yeah. <laughs> so Stress I, everywhere. I feel, like, I feel like for the next, you know, 10 years, it's like walking on eggshells, you know. Yep. And, uh, Welcome and, and to my- I right. get to 60, you know, but it's great. Um it's definitely a lot of. I think a lot of fifty-year-old men do need therapy. I, th- I think for that reason. Yeah, I so. think it's probably good you, for everybody. Do you take meds, daily meds? <laughs> no, I don't. But certain people say I should. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I mean, or, you know, yeah. I, Jeff, I, I got to run because my mom's on the other line. Thank you, though. I've stayed away from him for forever, obviously, and but I think it might be time. I walk no. on the eggshells always with you. Although you do self-medicate to get yourself to sleep. Oh yeah, I definitely do that. Yes. Well, is melatonin self-medicating? Well, no, but like you NyQuil. said, said NyQuil. He said last night he took NyQuil. Well, that's only because I'm sick. Jason yesterday said, my body, I just couldn't stay up to watch the second half of the Packers. divisional round game between the um, Packers and Seahawks. Packers yes. and Seahawks. And he says, he, my body couldn't stay up. He took melatonin and NyQuil. All right, well, hold on a second. Are you not telling the whole story? It's just like you not to tell the whole story. <laughs> He's going to tell the whole story. story. You have a head cold, too? I, I, was, I was sick. Yeah. All right. My body felt sick. I felt like I needed to go to sleep. I just wanted to go to sleep a little quicker, so I took. That's why I took the melatonin, and it also helped clear my head. I mean, the, cherry uh, on the top. Nyquil helped clear my head a little bit. Yeah, I was all stuffed up. I don't take Nyquil every night. I take melatonin every night, but that's not. That's different than taking Nyquil. I didn't say you take it every night. You're you're claiming I didn't tell the whole story. I wasn't. You didn't tell the whole story. I didn't say you take Nyquil every night. You I didn't. said you said your body was shutting down. And you couldn't stay up. Right. But then you took two things to help you fall asleep. Well, I just told you why. Okay. What part of that are you not getting? All right. When you're not go to... feeling good, <laughs> when your head's all stuffed you take up, medicine. you got a stuffy nose, you got a cough and a sore throat, you take a little medicine. Well, don't take Sudafed before bed because I did that, and apparently that keeps you up. Oh. That's like an upper. That was, re- I mean, it was stupid. All right, let's go to my mom. <laughs> I, I guess I've upset her. Mom, good morning. Hi, Eric. Hi. Yes. I, I, I'm sad. You are. Yeah. I didn't know that. I mean, I. No, and I talked to you a couple times in the last couple of weeks about stuff bugging me. Well, I know. I know, honey. Yeah. But I think, I think when you answer the question, why am I here? Oh, I know. You're going to. Go ahead. Okay. I know. You don't want a sermon from me, okay? But Not every day. I just don't. I don't want a sermon every day. That's all. 
But go ahead. I don't think you've answered the question why you're here. Ooh, that's Everybody a tough has question. To answer that. I don't know the answer to that, Mom. He's here because you and your husband had a child and he was born. That's why he's here. No, but I get what you're saying. What about your perspective on things as somebody who has experienced life, ups and downs, over the decades? Yes. Did you find one particular decade to be the happiest? Did you find one particular decade of your life to be the most miserable under this mis- under this misery index it's saying that right around this age is maybe the most stressful and miserable for people but they're happier in their 20s and happier in their 70s i really couldn't say i i i guess i would say that dating years for me as a person were painful years i, I that was really hard because uh, you know uh, i think that's a hard time you haven't found but, your soulmate yeah adam could relate to that <laughs> Very hard for him. <laughs> what about like your thirties, forties, fifties, sixties, all them? They all kind of the same for you, Mom, in terms of yeah. stress. I have, I've had stresses in my life, as you know, mm-hmm. but I really, everyone does. I uh, yeah, uh, but I have this overall purpose. I think we will all want to be loved, and we all want to be communicating with someone. Yeah, and when we feel that we're under, but I'm not worried about that. I know I'm loved. I'm not worried about that. Hey, a wonderful well, party that yeah, I know essential. I'm straight there. I'm good. I'm lucky with that. Yes, and and then we also want to love someone else. Yeah, that's right. I, love, got, I love lots of people. That's fine. But uh, that's good. I think ultimately you have to look to why we're here. And I don't think it's by accident you're here. Right. I think that once we're here, God has a purpose for us. Right. Right. Well, I will say this. I will say this. But I do think she hits purpose. on something. Hold on, Mom. I do think she hits on something. I think that people that do find solace in religion oh. are happier. Oh, okay. No question about it. They have they feel there's a there's a larger purpose in life or whatever and it's beyond them and they yeah. can't control everything. I can't get into that. <laughs> but I think no, I think there's no question about it. I think you could look up studies prove it. No, you're yeah. probably I'm sure you're right. Yeah. yeah. But I also think about that and what God's plan. All right, my mom so God's plan was my mom to get cancer when she was sixty three. Yeah, and like babies to die and stuff. Yeah, I don't know. So I I can't get into that. I don't yeah. get into I, God's plan. Sorry, Mrs. B, I just can't do it. I think God plans for us to live in the spirit now and in the hereafter. I think there's so a her answer that, would be God's plan is larger than this life. Yeah. And you just yeah, can't see beyond it. Beyond the okay. grave, but no, no, one, no, no one knows on. if that's I have no idea what right. it could be like. That's, a, that's just a belief. Right, right. Yeah. It's yeah. a grasper. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's, it's a, a full on grasper. <laughs> right. 